Hello everyone, welcome back to this lecture series in network security. In this video, we are going to see a detailed brief explanation on specific attacks that is happening in the network. Thanks for your support shown, keep supporting us. So when dealing with specific attacks, it is divided into three. Sniffing and spoofing, phishing and forming. So the sniffing and spoofing is further divided as packet sniffing and packet spoofing. So sniffing and spoofing is nothing but the same thing what we have seen in active and passive attack. Destruction of data, spoofing or sniffing or observing the uh, data that is conversated between the two ends and destroying it. Through this diagram you can clearly see. So here is the internet and there are different nodes where there is an attacker sitting in between the internet and the nodes to hijack the data, sniff the data and the data is sent to the particular nodes. Here you have a malicious user who is observing the data that is uh, I mean, traveling from the LAN user to the LAN gateway through the internet. So the data that is transferred from the internet to the LAN user or LAN user to the internet, it is completely spoofed by the malicious user. So coming in detail, packet sniffing. Packet sniffing, we tell it as a passive attack. What is passive attack? Let me know in the comment box as we have seen in the other lecture series. Let me see how fast you are replying for this. So what is the passive attack? Comment in the comment section. So here in packet sniffing, what happens is it doesn't destroy any of the data. It just keeps observing what is happening between the user and the server. It just watches, observes what happens. Is any confidential data being shared? That's it. So here, in when packet sniffing is happening, you should not find a way to detect the virus or detect the malicious user or detect the attacker. You have to be very intelligent than the hijacker. You have to come with some preventing information or sources so that the data can be prevented such that the attacker cannot see observe the mess confidential messages. So that can be done in two ways. One is data encoding and transmission link encoding. So in data encoding, the data sent from one end to the other end will be completely encrypted such that only the both the user will know what data has been sent. Third person doesn't know about it. In transmission link, what happens is the transmission link through which the data passes through, right? So the link itself will be encrypted or encoded so that no hijacker can observe the confidential data. So this is what is packet sniffing. Then what is packet spoofing? So it is like spoofing of source address. See, you have a user who, uh, who is communicating to the other end, like uh, he is requesting uh, something about the debit card, say suppose about debit card or credit card. Here is a hacker who is intercepting the original data. That is here, the spoofing is done as the attacker will intercept the data. He will cut down the data to hijack and modify the data. So this attacker, he will not be bothered about what the reply is from the other end or he doesn't want any of the reply to be given from the other end. So this incorrect source address or uh, done means spoofing is done through these three types. That is the attacker can intercept the reply. So the attacker will cut down the reply and he doesn't want to know what, uh, what reply is coming from the uh, uh, so, I mean, server end or the user end. He simply completely attacked whatever data it is passing through the transmission line. So this is known as packet spoofing. Next is phishing. So phishing is C. You have an attacker who have a victim. So this is a victim. Nowadays, see, we are not going um, personally to the bank and depositing or withdrawing the amount. In sitting in one location, we do everything right to through online transaction. So now you can see here you have, um, I mean, I have taken one bank where you can see that the victim is using the 
uh, using the system of that website uh, and she is taking the uh, she is typing the her de uh, uh, credit or debit or atm pin card now the attacker from here he will see what the victim he is doing and he will complete the fish the data fish the data is nothing but he will completely hijack how so generally during bank transaction what happens when you click one link say suppose this is the link when you are creating an account this will be the link to confirm your mail address or confirm the transaction that is done to the other end so here the attacker will create one fake link wherein the victim once they click the link complete information will be seen by the attacker and he will hijack it so that is known as phishing farming is nothing bad the complete ip address will be changed that is see before attack www.bob.com so you have the ip address 100.10.10.20 so after the attack what happens the ip address changes so here the attacker will form an ip address which is as similar as the original one so we doesn't we generally don't remember the ip address of all website we generally remember the website name with the website name we go uh, go into the website but here the attacker intelligently changes the IP address which looks same as the original one so that the attack can be done easily. So this is known as forming. So hope you have understood about the specific attacks happening through the network. Stay tuned for more information. Thank you.